tutorial I'm doing share from clueless this has been so highly requested on my channel since I started and I'm finally doing it today so you'll see how to get this fresh really pretty girly makeup look really sleek beautiful hair that Cher has Cher is the best most healthy looking hair so I tried to recreate it and also I have some other 90s inspired hairstyles in here pretty jam-packed video and then of course we got this yellow outfit as well as some other outfit inspiration so this would be perfect for Halloween or also if you want to just bring more 90s into your life so hopefully you guys enjoy this video thumbs up if you do and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my beauty videos and let's get into the makeup Cher's makeup is soft, natural, put together, and has a girly feel to it. I'm starting with moisturized skin and I'm using my CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream and then I also go in with the Body Shop Lightning Drops and add a couple drops to the BB Cream, mix it together, and then I use a damp beauty blender and dab it all over the skin. I love this combination of products. It leaves a really nice finish and looks natural but still gives you coverage, so this is my go-to. Go in with concealer on any areas you need extra coverage as well. I'm going underneath my eyes, on my chin, and around my nose. I'm using Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush on my cheeks. I'm using my fingers, and I love this pinky shade. I'm just dabbing it along my cheekbones as well as on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm also taking this and adding it a bit to my chin, nose, forehead. You just want a natural looking rosiness to the skin like Cher. This makes it more skin-like and also just more youthful. And it's pretty pop of pink. To set these cream products, go in with a powder. You can use matte if your skin's more on the oily side, but I'm going in with an illuminating powder and just lightly dabbing on areas that I feel will need setting. And now it's time for bronzer. Just dust a bronzer around the edges of your face in a three motion, so along the forehead, under the cheekbone, under the jawline, and down the neck. For brows, fill in your natural shape. I'm using Benefit's Cabrow here in shade 3, and Cher has full, natural, and dark brows compared to her blonde hair, so I'm mimicking that, and I'm copying her shape a bit so she has sparser brows at the head of the brow, and then as it goes to the arch, it's a bit of a sharp arch, and then it goes down while still appearing quite natural. Shadow time, start by using a medium brown all over the lid, and then also blend this into the crease as a base for the look. Also bring this soft brown shade underneath the bottom lash line. This is a super simple makeup look, just very natural, so I'm taking Satin Taupe from MAC and I'm applying it to the outer V and inner corner really softly, you don't want any harsh lines, you just want some natural shadowing. Take a sheer highlight shade and apply this to the brow bone, blending out the other shadows. Using Satin Taupe again, I'm also fading this underneath the bottom lash line for a little more definition. I'm using CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in Deep Burgundy. You could use a brown as well, but just fade this into your top lash line really subtly. I'm lining about halfway and then I'm using a small blending brush and just kind of blending it into the top lash line so there's, again, no harsh lines and just subtle and this will help accentuate the lash line. Also do this to the bottom by dotting it along your natural lashes. And what I love about this look and just doing movie recreations is it's very wearable makeup that looks good in person and up close. Like I love Instagram makeup, don't get me wrong, but something like this is gonna look really flattering for everyone and you're never gonna look overdone. So it's perfect for high school, work, I just love it. I'm applying a natural coat of Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love what this looks like with just one coat. They look fluffy and natural, just deepened up. And then you can also really build up this mascara and it looks great as well. But I'm going for the more natural look like Cher and she has a fuller lash line like when you're looking at her, but they're not like doll-like. So I decided to add a couple of individual lashes that are the same length as my own lashes just to fill out the lash line on the outer corner. Now that we've completed this natural look, it's time to bring it all together with lips, which I'm going to overline to look more like Cher's. So I'm applying Boldly Bare for MAC, overlining the top edges of my lips, and then just normally lining the bottom. Finishing off the lips with two Maybelline products. This is Baby Lips in the shade My Pink. This is a pH transforming lip balm. I love it. It smells amazing, and it just gives a really nice pink look to your lips while still keeping them hydrated. And then I wanted a little more pink to the look because I wanted to look girly and cute. In some scenes, she has more pinky tone to her lips. So I'm using Maybelline's Color Blur by Lip Studio in the shade Fast and Fuchsia, just on the four uh, kind of points there on my lips and blending out. 
Lastly, go in with a highlight. I'm using this pinky toned one just on the tip of my nose just because I prefer that and then on the inner corner of my eyes like Cher had and then I just want a youthful, really pretty glow so I'm kind of dabbing it along. I'm not strobing my cheekbones, just kind of dabbing it there and along my forehead, chin, just to give a bright look and there's the completed makeup inspired by Cher. Now for Cher's hair, the goal here is sleek, healthy looking hair that still has some body to it. You can get a professional blowout, but I personally hate, hate blow drying my hair because hair strands are weakest when it's wet, so here's how I achieve a similar blown out look when my hair is already dried. I'm using the InStyler Rotating Iron and just pick up a section and let the brush and barrel straighten the hair and curve it inwards at the end. Of course, you can use a round brush and a straightener following it to get that same bend and straightened look, but I find this product it gives it more of a blown out look. It's less uh, straightened down and you get a bit more body. Body? Did I say body? <laughs> I use a little round brush as well to touch up the ends. And what's really important here is a shine serum that doesn't weigh the hair down. One of my favorites is Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Shine Serum, and I'm applying this to the lengths and ends of my hair, especially at the ends, and you can see the sleek difference. And at the top section, I'm using Living Proof Dry Volume Blast and letting the product sit in this fluffed out position. I have a slightly off-center part. Cher's kind of can go any way and just perfectly lays there, but it's important to remember that every scene and shot she has people touching up her hair, so I'm keeping it in the slightly off-center part and just continue around the rest of the hair. Of course, we need more serum, and even take a tiny amount on your fingers and smooth over the top of your hair. You really don't want to weigh this down, but if you just do it really lightly over top of some baby hairs, it should keep them at bay, and then in the sunlight you won't see all those like little broken hairs that you might have. It'll be more sleek down, and this is the completed share inspired look. My hair is quite a bit longer than hers, so obviously it's going to have a little less volume because it's weighed down, but I think this is a great tip to get, you know, share looking healthy hair. Here's my complete yellow plaid share inspired look. I ordered this set off Etsy, sewed on some buttons I got from Fabricland, and you can find a similar yellow skirt in stores at American Apparel. This crop sweater I have on screen is from Mod Cloth and would be perfect for the look, but I also saw button up yellow sweaters at Zara right now if you're looking for that. I just decided to not have a yellow sweater. I liked what it looked like with the bright white cropped up underneath. My high white socks are from Ardeen's, and then I have these vintage looking shoes from Mod Cloth, drop down earrings, and in grade 5 I wore a full pink plaid outfit, argyle socks and everything for picture day, so here's a picture of that, me being mini Cher. <laughs> if you want some everyday 90s looks, do a sleek pulled back section and of course leave out those baby strands. Add a ribbed white top, this is from Brandy Melville, and a layered necklace. I got this one at Forever 21. You can always rock a sporty share look by adding a thick headband, preferably color match to the top. I'm wearing a button up from Zara and a cropped cardigan over top from Mod Club. When Cher's trying to look all hot at school and has her hair in an undone pineapple style, easily get the look with two butterfly clips, transforming long hanging hair to a low-key updo. If you're still watching, let me know out of these three looks which one's your fave. Watching. If you liked this clueless tutorial, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe so you don't miss any of my beauty videos. If you have any requests for like movie characters, TV shows, let me know in the comments and you can also send me pictures on Twitter's the easiest actually because I just screen cap them or um, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of my links are in the down bar. I always go by Jackie Wires so make sure you're following me on there because I'm always posting videos and photos of like looks coming up so you'll stay in the loop and I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know what to do, shit. I didn't think this through. <laughs> One sec. Just leave it rolling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad! <laughs>